Okay, it's uh, day one, November 27th, Tuesday. 8.35 a.m. And uh, we're researching on a stair climbing robot. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so day one here. What are the types of robots? Uh, we research. We research the types of robots we could use. This is our prototype design. It's looking good, looking fresh. We can see David here working on it quite. Uh, 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 yeah, I mean, planning we got, we're, we're trying to first start our program, we haven't started our program yet. We forgot to record day two, practically what we did was modify our prototype design and research on different types of designs that would help our robots climb the stairs. Okay, so today is day three. Right now what we're doing is we're not researching at all. We're modifying our design so that the robot can go up the stairs. This is what we have so far. So you can see that it already went up the first step, but the back part of the robot is not going up the stairs. Uh, we're trying to see what we can do to modify it. Okay, so it's uh, day four right now. Uh, at the finish of class. We're uh, modifying a prototype, as you can see. Look, we... Um, right now what we're doing reinforcing is, the structure. is we're reinforcing the structure over here so that we can add a back motor. And uh, we added... Four motors in the in the front, as you can see. Suarez, if you're seeing this, your car is hit. You can see right here how the robot is practically on stereotypes. Stereotypes. <laughs> Steroids. <laughs> so that it can go up and he grew a hair. One hour later, we chose Mauricio's project. Our the pitch project failed, and mine almost, almost went one step up, but it didn't. So we're trying with Mauricio's. Yeah, Mauricio. ¿Por qué? Okay, what I learned was to stay that working with a team really helps you uh, having your own responsibilities and uh, and like on what I worked was uh, constructing things and also working on the program and it really helped me to to like to see how a team how a team really works and from from this last project. Um, I I liked it a lot the, the the project because I learned a lot from it. I learned that when you need to fail to succeed, 
And when you fail, you learn from the, pro the robot you failed to improve your robot and try to succeed. Um, I think that the most important thing in this project was the, the teamwork and the ideas to, for each robot, the prototypes. And it, the, wor the teamwork was really important because and many heads uh, think better than only one head. And with this idea, um, we created robots, different robots, to see which one could climb up better. Um, and yeah, that's what I liked about the project and what I learned. And I think that we put a lot of time and effort for the robot to climb. Sadly, we did not climb a lot of steps. But I think we learned a lot from it, and I really enjoyed robotics as a class, and I really enjoyed uh, the effort to, to go up the stairs. What I really learned about this project was that at first our group uh, was trying to build like the best robot, really complicated. Like We added a, a lot of stuff to it, and at the end we realized that the robots who climbed the stairs were the most simple ones. And the robot we used was also very simple, although it didn't climb the stairs. So I think the lesson I learned is that sometimes the uh, the most the more simple is is easier than the more complicated. The what I learned in the robotics project final project is that we shouldn't get confident because then we like in the first class we did a prototype that we thought it was gonna go up in the first one. And we ended up having like 40 and none of them went up, so... And that five, five brains work better than one and we should not we should not done what we did of separating into five robots because that didn't end up well. But it was fun because we socialized about how to get up the stairs and we learned a lot of things. Through this project I learned that through teamwork we can accomplish a lot of things even though uh, we ultimately failed. Um, I, th I basically think that if we if we begin to think that the challenge is going to work from the beginning and we don't take in consideration a lot of things that we didn't take in consideration, uh, we would have maybe progressed because our robot didn't go up any stairs. I, what I learned about robotics was that robots are complicated sometimes and you overestimate sometimes a challenge and maybe think that you can get through it but apparently sometimes challenges are harder than are they harder than they seem but success through failure is sometimes the best way to go